Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The Letcher County Fiscal Court today approved purchasing an 80-foot steel bridge to replace this one that collapsed a month ago. In a special meeting, the Letcher Fiscal Court approved an emergency measure to purchase a new bridge to replace the Perkins Branch Bridge. The court also approved bidding out the installation of the bridge. The original span, the only access into Perkins Branch from adjacent Kentucky Highway 7, was damaged by flooding in February and collapsed in early March, stranding dozens of families across Rockhouse Creek at Jeremiah in Letcher County. This bridge is longer than the other bridge. Uh, and we can spread out, and it don't have to have a center feet. So that'll keep all that logs, which was part of the problem from uh, before, uh, catching it on the center pier. I know the residents and the families of that community uh, should be very happy too. I know we worked hard. We had to wait uh, till our uh, emergency money was, we got uh, confirmation on our emergency money so that we could be able to purchase the bridge. A Perkins Branch resident attending Wednesday's fiscal court meeting was happy to hear the news about the new bridge. We realize, you know, times are hard and money's tight, but uh, through their efforts, uh, it looks like we're going to get a bridge, and I'm, I'm so thankful for that. Uh, it's hard for us to get in that. We don't, like I said, we don't even have a walkway out of the holler when the uh, low water bridge washes out. That temporary low water bridge washed out about three weeks after it was installed, but has since been repaired. The new bridge, which will cost around $77,000 plus installation costs, will restore permanent access to Perkins Branch. I think everyone would agree that it is an emergency down there for these families. We tried the low water bridge. It has washed out once already. Now this rain we're getting this spring, who's to say it's not going to wash out again, so I believe this is the appropriate way to get these folks access to their homes as quickly as affordably as possible. Judge Executive Jim Ward said he hopes to have the project completed in about six weeks. In Letcher County, Chris Anderson, EKB News.